Everyone here, so many friends standing against the Russian potential invasion of Ukraine. And doing it right outside the Russian consulate to send a strong message that there's no way us as Canadian patriots, as Ukrainian patriots, will allow this to happen. We want to send a strong and clear message today right into the, the Kremlin, right to Vladimir Putin, to get his hands off Ukraine. <laughs> As a parliamentarian, as the official opposition to the we've been calling on the government to do as much as it possibly can. We've had a good debate, but it's already the same. And we know that, no more. Is that any better, guys? We know that during that debate, we know that in all the conversations that we've been having with the government, that we've made some really good first steps. But we know that Ukraine needs lethal weapons. And we should supply them right away. Not after the Russia invades, but now so they can defend themselves. We know that we need to apply sanctions. Meninsky sanctions, uh, legislation that I brought forward on behalf of Irina Landerchuk, our former senator uh, in the House of Commons, so we can make sure that we can name and shame those who are responsible for the potential invasion and this escalation that we're seeing all around Ukraine with 130,000 soldiers and heavy infantry. You know, I, I look here and I see my, my, my friend Paul Grodd. I look around and I see Ted Opitz, former member of Parliament, my colleague. I know Christian Freeland, plus myself, have all been banned and sanctioned by Russia. We know that all of us as politicians got banned because we were out there speaking loudly against Vladimir Putin and his kleptocracy. And for grabbing Crimea. Crimea is Ukraine. And we know that he invaded Donbass, and Donbass is Ukraine. 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 But when Vladimir Putin sanctioned somebody like Paul Grodd just because he's a patriotic Canadian, a patriotic Ukrainian, that is shameful. That is simply out somebody just because of their nationality, their heritage. Something I'm proud of as well. But we gotta make sure we pull no punches when it comes to dealing with Vladimir Putin. We know that Putin is provoked by weakness. And that's why we have to make Ukraine as strong as possible to deter this potential invasion. Get so we stand with Ukraine today, and we know that if we stay united all around the world, but especially within the NATO na nations and members, that we will succeed. Thank you for being here, Dakua. Slava Ukraini!